Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to my home. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you guys about some of my pot plants um, that I have that I think are really pretty. I brought out most of my smaller pots. I did not move around the larger pots because some of them are really heavy. So if you want to see the larger pots, let me know and what I'll have to do is just give like a little tour around my house basically. Let's start with this pot. So my colors are basically very earthy tones like this brown. My couch bed basically is a really earthy tone, a really good example of the tones that I have in my home. So I like a lot, um, I like, well not a lot, but I like simpler pots and this is one of them. It's kind of like I guess it's cement, it probably is cement because it looks just like cement. So I have it in three different sizes. So there's a large one, medium one, and then I have a smaller one as well, which I could not find because it's packed somewhere <laughs> right now. But I got these from CB2. And, but you know, you can find pots that look similar to this basically anywhere. Uh, you can go on Amazon and find pots like this, or yeah, Amazon's a good place to go <laughs> if you can't find them on Crate and Barrel, if it's something that you, you want. I just like them because they're so simple. Um, oh, let's do like the like the Home Goods Marshalls TJ Maxx type pots because I think that you and I, if you're a pot, I was gonna say a pot fanatic, a plant pot fanatic let's put it that way we probably have some similar some similar pots so this one is from marshall's it was eight dollars basically and i just thought it was very extremely it was cute it was really cute and this one is from marshall's i got these at the same time i think that i got them because i thought they kind of they matched a little bit they would go well with my decor and i like I like gold. I like really metallic gold. And as you can see in the light, this one kind of shimmers. So it's a, a kind of a metallic gold too. And it was $6. This is another one that I got from Marshalls. It was $10. And apparently a lot of people have this, this pot because my cousin had it when I showed her that I had it. And I saw someone else that had it too. So apparently this is a really popular pot. I don't have anything in this pot yet, which means I need to go plant shopping, apparently. She's gorgeous, honey. I love this pot. And I don't even know if, it's, if I'm supposed to use it as a pot, but I did. I just, the etching in it is just beautiful. The color is phenomenal. I just love her. And I really enjoy a good pop of color. So like I said, a lot of my decor is based around bronzes and golds and browns and tans, so earthy colors. And just a really good pop of color if you have the same decor is, it's pretty awesome. Use a little bit of pop of, pops of color to kind of liven up your space. This next pot is from, can you guess where it's from? So pretty, right? It's so different to me and pretty. It's from Nordstrom's Rack. Nordstrom Rack, I always say Nordstrom, I put an S on it. But it was so heavy, $20. So if you are looking for pretty plant pots, I would head to Nordstrom's Rack and see what they have in stock before you know you go buy something super expensive. Um, even though $20 may be expensive for some people because that was not on sale. So that was $20. This one is from Anthropology, And this is like one of my first plant pot endeavors. I just thought it was so pretty. And I got it even before I really was into plants. So I've had it for a long time. Like I've had this for maybe six or seven years now. And I just think it's so pretty. Again, I like the earthy tones and I love like the natural textures. So this pot, it has a lot of texture in it, which I, I adore, I love. I just love like the natural nature, things like that. So if, although you may not be able to find this particular pot, if you're looking for different, 
a different variety of pots than what you may find in like the Marshalls and TJ Maxx's and Home Goods. Definitely check out Anthropology because Anthropology is one of my favorite stores. I know people are always like, it's so expensive and it is, <laughs> it is. I cannot tell you how much I paid for that pot. I don't remember if I paid full price or if it was on sale, I don't remember, but most likely I got it on sale. And that's always what I tell people is to shopping at a place like Anthropology or even Crate and Barrel and you see something, wait for it to go on sale because nine times out of 10, it's going to go on sale. And Anthropology, I think they have like a 20% or 25% and then a 40%, maybe a 30% sale. And then once a year, they have a 50% off sale. So I think the 50% off sale is around Christmas time, if I remember correctly. But it's like once a month or every five weeks or something, they'll have a 40% off sale. So wait for that if you can. Um, if the item that you want is going to sell out quickly and you really want it, you can wait until it sells out. And then normally what you can do is look for it on Poshmark or eBay and you can still find it. It may not be as cheap as the sale price because people will jack the price up still. They'll get it on sale and then jack the price up. But it'll be cheaper than what it was listed for originally. So the original price, if that makes sense. What you want to do, so like if I was getting this pot from Anthropology and I wanted it, but I didn't want to pay, let's say it was $100 for it, I would just write down the name, keep the name, so then you can just look it up by name, and then you can find it. Nine times out of 10, you'll be able to find it. I don't know if that goes for Crate and Barrel, but all of my Crate and Barrel pots were on sale. So, um, I would just say catch a good sale. Even if the things are really expensive, just wait till they go on sale. And if they're, if you don't get it, then it wasn't meant for you. Or if you really want it, I guess just pay full price or do after pay something. <laughs> I don't know. Cause the pots can be pretty expensive sometimes. This one is from Crate and Barrel. She's not my favorite. She's not my favorite. And I'm pretty sure that I'm going to list her on like Facebook Marketplace or something like that because I don't, the inside, I don't, I'm not crazy about it, it's okay. I thought it was cute when I ordered, I think I ordered this at the same time that I ordered these. So, hmm, it was all right. Let me show you this one. It's dusty, it's dusty. I had a pot of here, it's like dirt flying everywhere and it's dusty, oh my gosh. Okay, this is not a pot, obviously it's a bowl but I got it from an estate sale and I use it as a plant pot because I'm never gonna use it to cook out of or put food in. So I just wanted it as decor because I thought it was beautiful. I forgot the artist, the name of the artist and it's EVLA, Evla. She's pretty popular and I think and it's a Canada something. The woman that I bought it for, she was telling me all about the artist. But yeah, if you have a pot that you think is a uh, bowl that you think is beautiful, but you don't know what to do with it, stick a pot in it and just use it as decor. These two I got from Lowe's. So I'm gonna say right now, these are not my favorite and they probably will be changed. But I wanted to show you guys these because Lowe's is kind of stepping up their pot game um, by Live. This is by Live Trends. And apparently every plant that they came in, that they had, came in a little pot. And the pots are really pretty. Well, okay, these aren't pretty to me. But some of the pots were pretty. But however, the plants that I wanted did not come in the pretty pots. So I had to get these. But I probably will be selling these pots, but I wanted to show you guys this in case you like them. I do love the natural, um, the natural, the natural texture of this, but I'm not crazy about the color. I wish it was the darker orange of the other clay pots that they have. This pot, which is really cute, and actually to me, kind of matches this pot, right? And I got this from a black owned store. And what was the name of it? I really wanna tell you guys the name of the store because it's black owned and I try to support a lot of black owned stores. Um, I don't remember. 
I got it on Instagram. Y'all, you can find cute plots on Instagram too. Like, at little boutiques and stuff like that. Like, this is, I'm sure they order these wholesale and then ship them. But you can find some handmade plots and things like that on Instagram or Etsy. Try those places too. Like, support other other artists or people that are just trying to do their thing include if you want to support the larger companies too but try to support small businesses because they have some really cute unique things out there i will post the name of that company though um when i get finished with the video so just so you know actually i'm just gonna look it up okay i'm back <laughs> the name of the company was the leafy branch the leafy branch and it's on instagram okay this one is one of my favorite parts i love her she's so cute but i love the gold the bronze the blue um oh what is the what is this called if there's a name for this pattern and it starts with a p and i cannot remember it um patina I, I'm pretty sure it's, is this patina? It looks like patina to me, right? But I just think it's so pretty. Like, like I said, I just love natural naturalness. So the natural um, patterns in it, like everyone is probably a little different. I'm sure that no two are alike. So I really enjoy that. This one is from Crate and Barrel, y'all. I think I paid full price for this one though, cause I loved it so much. It's called the Sahara Planter Brass. So if you're interested in it, I got it about a year ago, so I doubt that it's in the store. It may be something that they keep, you know, keep bringing in because it's popular, but I don't know. I haven't checked. I haven't checked recently, but if not, like I said, put that in, press shop, shop, go to Poshmark, put it in, put it in eBay, um, Mercari, see if you can find it there. And it's cute. And it's so cute. I don't even use it because it's too... I use a water hose. I take, what I've started doing is taking all my plants outside, most of them, and then watering them and letting them sit in the sun for a minute, once a week. But I just thought it was so cute, so 70s. And um, I got this from Instagram. So it's a vintage, it's a vintage watering can, well, watering um, thing. And I just thought it was really cute. So I wanted to show you guys that too. I wanna know if you have any of the pots, the same pots that I have too and if you can put like some good pot some good places for me to look at or people that read the comments to look at because i'm always looking for unique and different but natural like earthy pots so if you know of a place let me know and if you like the video subscribe i would have i would love that and even if you don't subscribe, even if you didn't like the video, can you like it, please? Thank you. I would appreciate it anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> like, you don't ever have to go back, but like the video. Thank you. And if you want to see the larger pots, I can do that too. A big tour. I just cannot move all these pots. So, all right. That's it for me today. Thank you. Bye-bye.